Man Handicap Field stands. Gate Spring off and racing. First to go, Deep Envy from the inside. Military Power pushing through. And also right there is Hostile Talk charging up there. Likewise as well, the Great Hoyer. So Sparks fly early on. Military Power, Hostile Talk, Deep Envy outside of them, three deep. Robbing Danger booting up just behind those with the Great Hoyer, followed by DT. And then All Stardom, Capra Omnia drifting back from its wide gate. Then Renato and Lost Gravity. And the tail end of Banks Avenue on the point of the corner at the 450 metre mark and over on the inside they straighten for home, military power leads Hostile Talk who has given its head soon after now and got on equal terms, Hostile Talk, military power kick two clear, robbing danger followed further back the Great Hoy, here comes Capro Omnia, right down the outside so is Lost Gravity chiming in as well, they go past the 100 now and Capro Omnia reaches the lead battling back Hostile Talk, Lost Gravity but it's Capro Omnia in front and it'll get the job done, luckless last start. Capra Omnia has given Stevie Parnham a race to race double winning from Lost Gravity or Robbing Danger Hostile Talk. In behind them from last Banks Avenue picked off a few. In behind them next of all is DT the Great Hoyer Military Power All Stardom and Renato and toward the tail after tramping deep and enduring a torrid run is Deep Envy. Capra Omnia is the winner. Trained by Dylan Bairstow, written by Stephen Parnham. Number one, Capre Omnia. One gets it completely without luck last start in that 1,000-metre race at Pinjarra on Scarp side when it was blocked for a run. The length of the straight, Winsome Lost Gravity, Robbing Danger and Hostile Talk. And uh, back from 10 into $6 as well. And on a difficult day under these conditions, Capre Omnia has certainly delivered a strong performance there. Drew awkwardly, Steve went right back, came to the outside and uh, has pounced upon them in the final part by Headwater from Key de Vega for Mark Bairstow, D Cunningham, Mrs R.M. Cunningham and M. Taylor, the one for the road syndicate, J. Pivak, P.J. Starbuck, D. Crocker, T. Hollands and has recorded its third win from 13 runs with this victory. Ultra consistent. Brides made three of its previous four and today salutes under 60 and a half. Three quarters and a head. A lot to like about that win. 60.62 the time, 35.80 the last 600. The interim numbers are 1-9, lost gravity second. Clint Johnston, Porter, 10, robbing danger, Jason Whiting and 8, hostile talk, Willie Pike. 1-9, 10 and 8 after the running of the fourth on the card. So... Punters there getting a good result out of Capray Omnia. Let's hope it's a good result for the yard. The fifth event over 1,200 metres, 8 Della Butte comes out. They'll go at 3.15, back on time for the remaining races here today. 5, 6 and 7 as we join Lockie down there in the enclosure. And uh, with him is a broadcasting colleague and trainer, Dylan Bairstow. Yes, Darren, he's certainly a character. And I'm now joined by winning trainer in Dylan Bairstow, Dill. This horse, he's been luckless throughout this campaign, so I dare say it's a great sense of satisfaction to see him back in the winner's circle today. Yeah, no, it was great, Lockie. It was just good to see the horse get a bit of luck for a change, you know. Um, what well, hasn't been all Stevie's fault. He, you, know, you know, things can happen. You zig and you should have zagged. But, no, it was good. He tracked up nice. He got a beautiful run. and He did a good job. He still had 60 and a half on a heavy track. So, um, he's definitely a sad day horse. You know, he's probably nearly won a sad day anyway, but... Um, yeah, no, he'll go through his grades. Did you perhaps learn something about him today? He's been drawing well down the 1,000 metre straight. He's been unlucky at times, but today kept out in clear air, three deep with cover. He looked like clearly the best horse in this race. Yeah, a couple of starts ago, we um, uh, we decided to put the Norton on him, just ride him with a bit of cover, and he definitely finished it stronger. We, um, unfortunately, we were trying to have a few bets earlier on and putting him right in the race and uh, done our money, but uh, we got bust on back today anyway. What do you do with him from here? Because clearly we've learnt today that he handles the heavy going. It looks like it's going to be a wet few months here in Perth. Yeah, no, he'll just he'll just creep up, lock. Yeah, he'll go to a, you know, a graduation race and then see what happens. But it's always an advantage if he can handle the wet, so he should uh, win his fair share of races. Great result, and it's always nice to land one ten dollars into six. Yeah, lovely, mate. Hey, there's Dylan Versto after the win of Capre Omnia. Really nice win this, Scott. This horse has been putting the riding on the wall. And as we said in the preview, the headwaters absolutely love getting their toe into the ground. And Capra Omnia was no exception.
No, and he's on the board in WA. I know this horse's stable name is Ollie because I stood next to Toby Bairstow one day and he just screamed it in my ear for about 400 metres straight. So hopefully they got their coin today and those punters that were standing anywhere near can buy a couple of hearing aids because they can make some noise, those Bairstows. But Stevie Parnham joins us now after the first win in WA of Capre Omnia. Stevie, he probably, with even luck, should have got close last start. He should have won last start, yeah. Um, got, got squeezed out. There was a run just opening up and and just shut on, up shut on him and he had to change direction and flash late so um made up for it today it was a uh, very good win looks like he's a horse they can have a lot of fun with over winter i think so yeah he'd be genuine saturday grade horse um he, he's going really well i reckon the last couple of starts he's ridden with a bit, bit of a sit and he's got a really good turn of foot we've sort of been a bit closer in his races and um i think he's showing his, his turn of foot better like this that was sort of the thing early in the preparation at Ascot. It lo he loomed to them a couple of times like he was going to go straight past and didn't quite finish off, whereas today, he really savaged the line. Yeah, I think so. I think that's probably the way we go with now. We ride him that way. He certainly appreciated the bit of sting out of the ground too, so coming up to winter time, I'm sure they'll have a lot of fun with him. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There's Stevie Barnum bringing up the second leg of a double. He combines with Dylan Bairstow and Capre Omnia to take out race number four here at Belmont Park. Those things just don't last And it's time I take my rose-colored glasses off <laughs> 